Peter Gretz Company Cruise has conducted the monthly meeting on the 5th of April in the conference room C, which Patra Wood was the chairperson of this meeting. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for being on time. So let's start the meeting. Uh, first, uh, let's get started with the minutes of the meeting and also the matter that arise from the last meeting. Uh, may I over to you. Yes, so last meeting we've approved on the activities that will be set up in our fair, including dog fashion show, dog wash service, photo shoot party, arts and crafts, and a hundred selling booth quota. And for the foundation, it has been approved that we will hold a charity for a home for animals foundation, which all of our revenues will be contributed to the foundation. And I've also already contacted to the charity to confirm with the foundation that we will help them. However, we didn't decide yet whether the fair will be held at uh, Suan Luang Ramanai Park or Impact Arena, Nguyen Thong mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Ming. And how about others? Uh, do you have any idea? Uh, start with Ben. Uh, I think Suan so, Luang Ramanai Park is better due to the transportation which participants can go there easier than Impact Arena. Moreover, the area is appropriate with the activity that our our company will conduct because it is the outdoor activities. Mm, okay, how about others? I think there are other places that we should consider. Mm, I like where? Like indoor stadium format because it's located in the city and we the participants can go there easily easily by airport building or taxi. Mm. How about the traffic? At that area, there are many roads connected to each other, so the participants or the people commuting there can um, avoid the one the mm. one that has a traffic jam and to the other one. Like when the uh, Rangkampang Road is jammed, they can switch to Ramanai Road. Mm. Uh, how about the parking area? I'm not sure if there is enough space for our guests. For that problems, I think we should um, pay for the other parking area for our fare. Mm -hmm. Okay, good point. How about PC? Well, for me, I give it a chance as long as Lama and I provide us a larger area and it is convenient for us to form activities. Uh, so I think the final decision on this topic of the location to where to hold the fair is Suan Luang Ramanai Park, right? Yes. So if there is nothing else we need to discuss, uh, I think we should move on to today's agenda. Uh, May, could you please hand out our agenda to our members? Alright, uh, today we are going to discuss about the marketing plan of the fair, budget, and theme. The first point we are going to discuss, discuss is about the marketing plan. PC, would you like to start? Yes, uh, I have conducted uh, marketing research with my team. It shows that uh, people tend to pay more attention on social media ads and TV commercials rather than other sources. So we should conduct the advertisement board on social media apps and TV commercials and use Gan Gan Tatawan as an endorser of our campaign since he is known to be the dog lover and he is really well known these days. That sounds good. Uh, what do others think? Um, up to the point, I agree with you but I think it's not enough by using only two sources. Because, because not many people nowadays that watch TV but we should place the ads also on billboard to attract locals people and people who drive car because when they are with the traffic jam they can like watch to the watch the billboard something like that so we should use billboard too if we have enough budget mm. 
Uh, so Ben, what is the estimated cost of this project? Do we have to concern about the budget? First of all, I will hand out the details about the budget. Then I will show you the details in the box. So we have the overall cost is 10 million baht. Then I will explain in detail. First, we have the location cost for 100,000 baht. Then we have the booth cost for 1 million baht. Next, the equipment cost is 300,000 baht. Also, the staff cost is 100,000 baht. And the advertising cost is 8,500,000 baht. But the sponsor gave us uh, 12 million baht, so we have 2 million left. So we can use this budget to do other activities. However, we are financial support by a uh, number of sponsors, which are AS Cola, Nestle, Lays, and Ishitan. We also expecting for other sponsors including farmhouse which i will have a talk with the less representative tomorrow the total amount is 12 million baht i have to say that our financial is positive right now that's wonderful so i think we can increase the as budget for the program in order to maximize our attendance and so now move on to the theme of our fair. Anyone has any idea? Well, uh, I would like to suggest that our theme could be Masquerade Party. According to the, the trends of the Mask Singer show, uh, and Kun Khan is also the MC of that show. So. Yeah. I think superhero theme is also a good idea as recently there are several superheroes in the theater and many people are curiously about it, especially people with age between 20 to 30. There are a group of people who have high purchasing power. We can also invite some cosplayers to this, like Spider-Man, Batman, or Iron Man, and keep their fair alive. Um, I don't agree with but I totally agree with Peachy to use the masquerade theme as he said that it's related to today's trend and also most Thai people know and familiar with the show. Moreover, there are several costumes that our customers can choose for their pets or dogs. Since And since we have a lot of sponsors, I think we'll have enough budget to invite Tom Room 39, the Turian mask, in the show and his band for our live concert to attract more people and we can attract the people who want to be in his mini concert which our sponsors will support at, us in this area I think that's a good idea how about the organizer? do we have to hire them? yes, we should contact the organizer we have used that service for two times already and I would say that 
the events that they organize are successful. So we could ask them for a backend since we use their services quite often. Mm. Okay, how about our company booth in a fair? Uh, PC, can you tell me some information about it? Sure, sir. Uh, our company will have four booths in the fair. All of them will be selling dog food and categorized by age and flavor. So actually, let me show you on the board. Alright, so all the booths will be decorated with lots of big ones and masks. We will outsource the staff to be in our booth by posting the job description in job title website. So we have the booth right And we, I think that we should have like 10 staff with a wage of 500 per person. So we have 10 people, right? Two here for each booth. And we have two more at the entrance. So like these two people will, you know, like help all the booths to, to make the activity complete. So I think it should be enough. Uh, all right, everything is done. Uh, is there anything else? Um, how about the ad agency that will create the ads for us, like both for TV commercial, on social media, and also on the billboard? Mm, that's an interesting point to discuss, but I'm, I am afraid that we are running out of time. I think this topic should be discussed in our next meeting. Okay. Uh, and to conclude our meeting, we have to add the live acoustic concert by the Mask Art Tom Room 39 into our activities and also the theme of our campaign will be the Masquerade Party which Kundang will be our endorser and for the location it will be at Solong Rama 9 and we will place our apps on TV commercials and social media is that right? Um, uh, the ads will also be on the billboard because our budget is enough. Oh, that's even better. And also, Ben, could you prepare the total cost of our fair for the next meeting? Sure, boss. Uh, thank you. And I would like to inform you all that the next meeting will be on May 1st at 1 p.m. at this room or conference room C. And thank you for everyone for participating for today and see you in the next meeting. Thank you. Uh, the empty, the empty. <laughs> 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 <laughs>